Hello and welcome to the follow-up for Jameson's Irish, Irish whiskey. whiskey. It's right there. I'm the Whiskey Hound. I am Drunk Fox. And we are here to answer your questions. Sa All none of them. <laughs> Sadly, there were zero. There were zero questions. So you get to hear us talk tonight, and maybe next time you'll learn your lesson. That's what happens when you don't ask questions. You get our stupid stories. And story time is what it's going to be, and we'll start out with your story. All right, my story. Uh, first time I ever had Jameson's. It was in the form of Irish car bombs. And I don't like Guinness. I can't drink Guinness. I think it's it's just way too dark for me. Shoot me. But um, I will. I know you will. <coughs> but his old roommate, Knoxville. Knoxville. Shout out to Knoxville. Knoxville. Knoxville made me an Irish car bomb, and I went ahead and dropped and chugged it. And it was delicious. Tastes like a chocolate milkshake, or like a YooHoo drink. And I loved it so much, and he was so excited about that, that he decided to make me, you know, three more in the next 20 minutes. Sounds like Knoxville. Yeah. <clears throat> I wasn't feeling a thing for about the first 25 minutes. And then uh, realized really quickly that I was really drunk. And then I attempted to dance. But there was a chair on the dance floor, which I immediately got into a fight with, and I kicked across the floor three or four different times. Just kept bouncing off the wall back onto the dance floor. It was hysterical. Chair was a jerk. Chair was a jerk. But anyways, yeah, I got in a fight with a chair, and I lost because it had no bruises, and I had huge bruises up and down my shin. Then I threw up inside my girlfriend's car. Shout out to Mackenzie. Shout out to Mackenzie. Thank you so much taking care of me that night, um, as well as several others. But, the point is, it was delicious. It was delicious. Just don't drink four or five of them in 20 minutes. Words of wisdom. Words yeah. of wisdom. Now, the stories I will tell, the first one's a personal story. About three years ago, my brother was born. But Whiskey Hound, how old are you? I know. I am approximately 20 years older than he is. Actually, 20 years and two days older than he is. Really? Yep. But um, my stepmom had just given birth. Shout out to Cindy. I hope you're not watching this. <laughs> Never Cindy's cool. Yeah, not with cigarettes. Anyway. So, my dad and I were at his house in Philadelphia while she was at the hospital in Philadelphia. And we were sitting out back, smoking Griffin Maduro cigars. Shout out to Griffin Cigars. Great. Great cigars. Nice, mild cigar. We were very smoky, but not overbearing. And we told personal stories, had a great time. Drinking this whiskey and smoking those cigars, and I highly recommend the combination thereof, the Griffins with the Jamesons. I'm actually drinking Bushmills because we botched the last recording. Yes, we, we horribly botched the last recording. Go us. Mm -hmm. Maybe we shouldn't drink while we do these. Or maybe we should. Or maybe we should drink more while we do these. <laughs> It'd be way more entertaining for <coughs> everyone out on YouTube. Anyway. The second story I will tell is about my first serious girlfriend. Her name was Chrissy. I hope you're not watching this either, because you I promised I would never tell this story. But I'm going to tell it because <laughs> you're a bitch. Anyway. <laughs> Shots fired. Let's, let's start a YouTube war. Come on. Let's I can do take it. it. Yeah. Anyway. Anyways. We were at the, uh, the Toy Soldier in Lidditz. If there's anyone from Lidditz watching... You know the bar, and one of the bartenders was my friend's mom, Mrs. Kendig. Shout out to Mrs. Kendig if you're watching, which I doubt you are. I've heard wonderful things. Wonderful things. I only say wonderful things. I don't tell the other stories, Mrs. Kendig. But uh, we were there, and I did an Irish car bomb, and then my buddy Josh did an Irish car bomb with me, and then Chrissy finally worked up the courage to do one with us. I had three in, you know, 20 minutes. Josh had to, 
and Chrissy had won. When Chrissy was done, she knocked over her glass, and the foam that was left in the glass spilled all over the bar. And the owner of the bar cut her off on the spot, after one drink, whereas I had had three and Josh had had two. Sexist. <laughs> it's true. But the moral of the story is it's <laughs> awesome, but don't spill it, because that's wasted money, and that's a lot of money to waste. I like to drink... Sorry, I pointed at you earlier, but it was not a frame. I like to uh, start my night on Irish car bombs, too, if you have enough money to start with the $9 drinks. If not, then the $6 on the rocks is probably your best bet. You're not missing out. Well, I mean, you are missing out, but you're still going to be very happy. Um, the other thing you can do is the IRA cocktails. I actually have a story about IRA cocktails with Knoxville. IRA cocktails are... Knoxville. The Irish car bombs without the beer, as we said in our review. But they will get you drunker faster, and you can drink more of them. And Knoxville got sick. Because he tried to keep up. And you don't do that when you're drinking with the whiskey hound. I'm an alcoholic. And it's, one of, it's probably the only thing I do well. But... Enjoy the drinks. Enjoy everything we said. If you like our videos, please comment. We won't have to tell these stupid stories. And our lo videos will be longer if you ask us questions. It's true. It'll also be way more entertaining. And now we have a few shout-outs to people. Shout-outs to D-Sharp. D-Sharp. Thank you, Daniel. That's Daniel Sharps, for those of you who he doesn't tell his nickname to. Um, good luck in Afghanistan. We can't wait for you to come home. Don't get shot in the ass, buddy. Shoutouts to at Whiskey Brother on Twitter. Thank you for mentioning us and continue to mention us and we'll still bring you up. Free publicity for you, buddy. Uh, Shoutouts to the Stoop, uh, Stoop people at MTSU. Thank you for joining very quickly on this bandwagon and watching our videos and listening to our podcast. Good old smoker's porch. Good old smoker's porch. Even though MTSU is smoke free, it's still a smoker's porch. Whatever. It is. <laughs> Trust me. Um, shout out to our Facebook fans, whether you were review, or, uh, referred to us by Daniel or by us or just saw it. Thank you for you know, following us. Please continue to do so. That's probably the best forum to ask us questions. If you like... Yeah, this, our Facebook wall is lonely. Yeah, it's, it's only us. company. <laughs> if you like our unscripted interchange here... Then email us at the whiskey uh, at the whiskey hound at gmail dot com, and we can send you the unedited version of our podcast. It has <sighs> it has all of our ums, most of our swear words, and, and a couple not so politically correct jokes that I made. Me, not him. He's good in PC. I I, I don't care anymore. Remember, <laughs> remember, if you're going to drink, drink responsibly. If you're going to drink, don't drive. We don't can't be stupid with your alcohol. On Saturday stupid. next, we will re be reviewing Clairvert. Calver Extra. Calver Extra. Calver Extra. The um, sneak peek, mix it with Coke. Mix this stuff. Seriously. Anyways. <laughs> I'm the Whiskey Hound. I am Drunk Fox. And thank you for watching our video.